Joggers in New Delhi take advantage of the relatively clearer air after weeks of toxic smog stopped people from venturing outside for exercise. So we just came for a morning run, a quick morning run. The nation was, was in lockdown earlier and then this air pollution happened. So we really didn't get this, we didn't get, get this the time in this whole year to have, to have some kind of physical activity, you know. But pollution may though, it becomes pollution harder to cycle or run in the air pollution. We get a cough and sneezing. Our parents don't allow us to go outside. Six of the world's ten most polluted cities are in India's capital region. Until the recent rain cleared the smog, the air quality index in New Delhi was showing levels of pollution between 450 and 499 on a scale of 500. That is 20 times higher than what's considered safe by the World Health Organization. But winter rain is unusual in Delhi and pollution levels are set to deteriorate again soon. Every winter, smoke from stubble burning in farms in the neighboring states of Punjab and Haryana and fumes from vehicles and factories engulf the city. Lower temperatures and slower moving winds trap pollutants in the air. But this year, institutions including Harvard and Cambridge universities say air pollution is leading to more severe cases of the coronavirus and more deaths from it. And nowhere in India is the situation worse than in Delhi. The number of cases are at record highs and uh, the hospitals are full. It's impossible to get an ICU bed, a COVID ICU bed today. So um, I think we're in a desperate situation from that perspective. And it's going to get worse as uh, the combination of air pollution, the winter months, uh, and of course COVID all make things worse for a period of time. Environmentalists say the Delhi Pollution Control Committee or DPCC must do more. Uh, DPCC was found to have only 37 full-time scientists and engineers, right, who can actually go ahead, you know, who have the ability to go and inspect and police and issue you know, notification against polluting sources. That's nearly not enough, right? We probably, you know, we need hundreds of them. This month, the Indian government set up a new commission to monitor and act against sources of air pollution across five North Indian states. Health experts and environmentalists criticised the timing, saying they had been warning for months that the easing of the lockdown would lead to an increase in pollution and the impact that would have on those with COVID-19. Elizabeth Purana, Al Jazeera, New Delhi.